Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I'm a 24-year-old cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And today I want to go over my August budget. Um, I do my budget monthly because I know almost always exactly how much I will be paid every single month. I get paid twice a month from my engineering job and I budget it per month and I have a weekly budget sheet that I use to cash stuff which basically means that the money gets deposited into my account and I withdraw it and put it into little envelopes that serve different purposes. So a little bit more background around me. I am, like I said, 24 years old. I am an engineer. I am a process engineer. I'm about two and a half years into my career. So I make around $83,000 a year. Um, that's my salary. And I have my retirement that comes out. Um, that, that retirement is split between traditional and Roth contributions. I do get an employer match. I get taxes taken out. I don't have to do health insurance because I'm still on my parents' health insurance. Shout out to them. And I am left with, oops, let me switch. And let me zoom y'all in. I am left with 4,000. 800, wait, $4,725. Now for the month of August, um, based on how I cash stuff, I have, um, it's going to be five weeks for me. So I will cash stuff five weeks this month. Um, and in my budget, I like to save uh, for the fifth week of these five week months. And that is all going to go towards my cash envelopes and that is going to be a total of a hundred and twenty dollars so if i add everything up let me move this to the side i have my calculator here hopefully you can see it very well we have four seven two five plus 120 this means that for the month of august i will be expecting four four thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars i will say i also am expecting um, not expecting, I will be receiving my interest payment for my high yield savings account. And I like to withdraw those and transfer it to other savings accounts, um, in increments of 100. So August, I will be taking a hundred dollars out, um, for my high yield savings from interest and putting it to other things, but I will not include that here. So 4,845 is the money that I am going to be dealing with for August. And I like to do kind of a zero-based budget. So that means that every single dollar has a job. So I'm going to start off with digital. Oh, I also forgot to say, if you are interested in budgeting and you want to try it out, but you're not exactly sure what kind of layout you like, I have this layout or something very similar in my description. Um, it's linked to a Google Drive that you can download and print, or you can just import it. This app is called GoodNotes, and you can fill it out. Obviously, it does not have the uh, category names. If you want to try something that's a little bit more uh, in-depth, has a little bit more detail, I do also have another layout, so check it out if you are interested. Okay. So, also, I would like to say, um, if you are a cash stuffing channel or a budgeter, please leave a comment down below so that I can check out your channel and hopefully others can check out your channel too. I'm not making this video with the intention to brag or show off how much money I am making or to tell people how they should budget. I'm showing this to show how I budget and um, it is for financial transparency because this helped me out in the beginning of my budgeting journey. So my hope is to help someone else out in their budgeting journey if they are also starting or if they have questions. That being said, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And if any uh, people, if anyone else is in the comments that have the same questions, they can see kind of what some answers are. Maybe others can pitch in with answers as well. So back to the budget itself. So for digital, this is basically my bills. Um, and I have it in digital because I do not withdraw this money. Some channels withdraw the money and cash stuff it and then deposit it. I kind of am 
anxious to do that. So I don't do that method. I have my direct deposit, my digital, my digital bills, they go to a different bank account where I pay all of my bills from. So that being said, rent right now is $1,680. This is rent, uh, parking, utilities. This is quite a lot. Water, sewer, um, heating. So $1,680 for rent. Um, electric, the, the monthly estimate is around like $50, $55. Um, but I want to try and build a buffer um, when it comes to my bills because I kind of ate that up when I was unemployed. So I am going to bump it up to $80. So I'm going to put $80 for electric. I'm going to do the same for internet, but internet is usually $40 a month. But I'm going to bump it up to 80 again to build that buffer. Next for my phone, I pay my phone to my parents. It's $60. Um, this is like my phone, internet, not f internet, my phone and uh, Netflix. So that is usually $60. But again, with that buffer, I'm going to put 100 And then my two debts are my car loan and my student loans. So my car loan, this is something that I want to knock off as soon as I can. So I'm going to put $540 towards it. The minimum monthly payment is 301. But like I said, I want to get rid of it. So 540 it is. And then student loans. Um, the minimum monthly payments is like 278, which I round up to 280. And then like 142, which I round up to 145. So in total, it is going to be 425. So if we add everything up, I pay $2,905 for my digital bills, which is, which is a lot. I will say it is a lot of money, but um, I am putting a lot of money towards my car loan and that is totally fine with me. Okay, so next is my daily cash. This is the cash that I use on, as the name suggests, on a daily. I have mini cash envelopes that I carry with me throughout the week and I use it however the categories fit. Um, but let me subtract 2905 minus 4845. I am left with $1,940. So back to daily cash. Um, groceries, I like to do $40 a week, so that will be $200. Um, $40, I shop at Aldi, and I also meal prep, so it's really helped me out when it comes to making sure I'm not spending too, too much and being mindful of my food waste. Next is gas. Um, I like to do $25 a week, and I think I will be keeping it at $25 um, a week because in the summertime, I do tend to drive a little bit more and I do visit my family quite a bit in the summertime. So $25 a week, oops, that's $125 for the month. And then the same is gonna be for spending. So that's $125 um, a month as well. Eating out, I will do $30 a week. So that will be $150 a month. 200 plus 125, 150 and 125 means that I have $600 for daily cash. Okay, it's getting a little hard to see my calculator on the side. So um, I just got a calculator app and hopefully you're able to see a little bit better. So I will take the 1940 and subtract, oops, 600 from it and I am left with $1,340. Next is my long-term savings. My emergency fund is fully funded at $10,010. Um, and medical, I want to put $25 towards it every single month. So that will be 125 in total. 
So 125 plus my future pet. I think I'll just do $10 a week. So that is 50. Um, for travel, I kind of want to do 25 as well a week, 125. So 125 for travel. Next is tech. Um, I want to do, this is something that is very slow for me, a slow building category. So I'm just going to put $5 a week into this. So that is 25 going in there. So in total for savings, for long-term savings to be specific, we have $325. So $325 for savings and daily cash has $600. Okay, we're going to take $325 and subtract it from $1340. We have $1015. So $1,015. Okay, so for my gym, um, this isn't a really big priority for me right now. So I'm just gonna put $10 a week. So that is 50 for memberships. Um, I need $21, 21 and like a few cents. So I'm gonna bump that up to 25 for this month. So 50 plus 25, that is 75. And if we subtract that from 1,015, I have 940. The next category is one that gets me really excited. It is retirement. So like I said, I contribute some money towards my 401k already. Um, this is before I get any, before I get, I get any of the money from my paycheck. So um, this is already on top of what I'm contributing and what my employer is contributing as well. Basically, I just want to do this to build good habits. So for my Roth IRA, I like to do $20 a week um, times five weeks. That's going to be 100. And then for my brokerage, this is just saving for any future expenses that I want, any, any future things that I want to save for. I kind of put it towards my brokerage. This is something that is a little bit... Uh, Contributions are lower than the Roth IRA contributions, so it's $10 a week. And there is an asterisk here because I have my brokerage um, on an automatic transfer. So every single week, it automatically takes it out of my account. So for retirement, on top of the money that is pulled from my paycheck, I have an extra $150 going towards retirement. If I take that away from the leftover, I have $790 left over for my short-term savings. Now, that's this is the only category left because, yeah, just the only category left. $0 is my goal for leftover, so the total should be 790. Let me just fill some of this stuff out. This was 790. Monthly expenses were like 75. Retirement was 150. Okay. So let's see how I kind of divvy everything up. So we have 790. I will say for my car, I always kind of put 220 to 225 dollars towards it. Um, the difference is if it's a four week or if it's a five week month for a four week i look i like to do 220 and if it's five week i like to do 225 so since it's five weeks um my car is going to get 225. i have a 2014 toyota she is running amazingly so far and yeah i am just saving up for any car maintenance that might happen um my insurance, I saved for that as well. And then I have a few categories that are fully funded right now. My insurance, my deductible. I'm working on my registration and insurance. Once I fully fund my registration, I will, or at some point, I will introduce saving for future oil changes, a car emergency fund, um, and saving for a future car. But that's a little bit further down the road. So, but back to my short-term savings. I have 225 
So I'll take 790 and subtract 225. 565. Um, my friend's wedding is fully funded. Moving is fully funded. I'm going to switch those that money around um, later. It's been very, it's a very busy week for me so far. So I just don't have the time to do that right now. Um, travel, this is going to be an envelope or these two envelopes I'm going to use this month in August. So I, this one's fully funded and travel, I only need like a hundred dollars left to fully fund it. So I'm going to put a hundred, oh shoot, hold on, 225 minus plus 100. Did I do that right? Okay, 325. Okay, I'm confusing myself. So this is kind of how much I want to put in travel. I kind of don't want to put too much. I feel like if I fully fund my envelopes for travel and if I want to put money, I can. Um, but I'm only going to budget $100 for now. Next, sinking funds and i guess we're just going to take everything else and chuck it towards my sinking funds so 465 dollars is going towards that and my sinking funds i have a sheet that i list all my sinking funds and i change how much is going into every single category week by week um not for all of them but i like to change them week to week so i'm just going to do a flat 465 um that number, ooh, sorry. I use those for my, um, uh, what is it called? My exchanges, my bill exchanges. So I know that I have enough placeholders. <laughs> um, something that's gonna be a little different is 465 is not nicely divisible by 93. It is, but I like to stuff in increments of fives and tens um, and 95 i don't want to do singles so i will just for two weeks i it'll be 90 dollars, and then three weeks it's 95 dollars. but that's totally okay so now i get to go over to my summary and this is an this is a portion of like these videos that i love to do um i like to see how much of my money is going towards what so bringing this calculator right back out um, and how to calculate the percentages, you take the amount and divide it by the total. So 2905, whoa, 2905, you divide it by the total, 4845, that means you have, I'm going to round by the way, 59.95, but rounded, that is 60%. So if I do that with everything... Um, daily cash, I spend about 12.4. For savings, long-term savings, this is 6.7. For monthly expenses, this is at 1.5. For retirement, the one that I'm really excited about, um, 3.1, rounded. Again, this is on top of what I already contribute for my paycheck. And then finally, my short-term savings has 16.3%. Now, this should be 100. Now I'm going to add everything up to kind of have a gut check on things. Oops. Um, I will like to say, please don't expect this to be 100 because I was rounding as I went through things. So it might not be 100. It might be over, it might be under, who knows? I uh, guess not. <laughs> so it is 100%. And now you can see that over half of my, half of my uh, income is going towards my bills. I save short-term and long-term. I can do math um 26 percent around 26 percent so that's really fun that's nice to see um and that'll be really good i will meet some of my financial deadlines not deadlines my financial goals and i'll get to use some of this money to go on a trip which is so fun uh something that i've been looking forward to 
but let me know how your August budget is going. Are there any big things that you need to be saving for or any big things happening? Like I said, for August, I'm taking my friend's wedding and my trip is this month. So I will kind of deplete those. And I do want to make a video on how I created the budget and also how I spent it. It might be two videos, it might be one. Um, meaning like how did I like how much to save for it and how much to spend those might be two videos or it might be one but I do know that I will have one for a wedding and one for a trip so keep a lookout on those videos and if you want to see how I kind of stuff this money check out my video and if you want to try out the budget try uh, the link in my description and if you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you in my cash stuffing video. Bye. Okay, friends, I completely goofed up. I totally forgot about my high yield savings account. And um, so I got $100 or I'm taking $100 from my high yield savings account interest pot. And I'm going to put $50 towards my bills buffer. It will be at $880. My goal is $1,002-ish. I'll just round up to 1,300 and I'm gonna take $50 and I'm gonna put it towards travel for my, you know, not my travel that's happening next month. The travel that's gonna happen at some point, at some time in the future. So $50 is just gonna go towards travel. So now I have one, two, three hundred, three fifty, three seventy-five, three hundred and seventy-five for my long-term un wait, my future unplanned travel. And sorry, I forgot, but now is the goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.